Hi everyone, I'm Scott Woods from Hawkbridge Systems, here to discuss the strategies for importing SOLIDWORKS CAD files into Composer while avoiding common pitfalls. There are also two methods for importing, often referred to as the push and pull methods. The pull method is initiated in Composer and pulls SOLIDWORKS to models in, while the push method begins in SOLIDWORKS and pushes data out by exporting to Composer. In the end, both of these methods have the same output and both use the same import options. The real question is simply which method works best for you? We have a tutorial that covers these two methods in detail. A link to that video can be found in the description below. For this tutorial, we're going to use the pull method, which is the most commonly used method of the two. Regardless of which method you choose, there are three main things to check when importing. Number one, is the model currently open in SOLIDWORKS? Number two, is large assembly mode settings set too strict within SOLIDWORKS? And number three, is the correct SOLIDWORKS version defined in Composer? To start off, I'm going to open Composer and use the pull method to import a SOLIDWORKS assembly. Importing into Composer might be a little bit different than you're used to. In order to import, we'll use File Open. A setting window will pop up where we can navigate to the CAD model. Now, this tutorial is geared toward import complications and not necessarily import options, but there are a couple critical options I would like to point out. The first option on this list is merge file into one actor per part. With this checkbox enabled, Composer will import SOLIDWORKS assemblies as assemblies and parts as parts. Sounds pretty straightforward, right? While this option works well for assemblies, consider this. Consider importing a large multi-body weldment part for assembly documentation. That situation might require this option to be unchecked for proper import. For our case, however, and most cases in general, we will want to leave this on. The other important setting is import as bodies. This will keep the body structure from SOLIDWORKS rather than importing a bunch of disconnected surfaces. I'm going to click open and see what happens. And surprise, it failed. Of course, I guaranteed this was going to fail for the sake of the video. And how else would I show you how to fix it? The truth is, it's breaking all three of our top potential gotchas for import fails. So let's go through the list. Situation one, is the model open in SOLIDWORKS? Of course it still is. When the model or any part of the assembly is open in SOLIDWORKS, even across a shared network, the import will fail. SOLIDWORKS only allows one editable copy of any given model to be open at once. This creates conflicts when trying to import into Composer. So it's essential that all parts and assemblies being imported are not open anywhere else. Situation two, what about large assembly mode? Large assembly mode can cause import complications in two ways. First, lightweight components will not import and will cause the import to fail. Second, Composer uses the current SOLIDWORKS settings during import, which includes the setting that automatically triggers large assembly mode once a certain number of components are detected. The surefire way of eliminating this issue is to turn off large assembly mode within SOLIDWORKS and make sure all components are fully resolved. The best way to do this is to go into the SOLIDWORKS system options, under performance, uncheck automatically load components lightweight, and check always resolve subassemblies. Right under that is an option for resolve lightweight components. Set that to always. The next section down is assemblies. In that section, uncheck both boxes in the opening a large assembly section. Last in the list is situation number three, making sure Composer is using the right version of SOLIDWORKS to import the models. Since Composer uses SOLIDWORKS to import the SOLIDWORKS CAD models, it's important we set the right version of SOLIDWORKS in Composer. To do this, open Composer and go to File, Application Preferences. From the options on the left, choose input and set the SOLIDWORKS version to the version of SOLIDWORKS that made the models you're importing. 
Let's try this again using the same import settings as before and see what we get. And there we go. The import is successful and we got a preview of the bottle. Everything looks as it should and now we're ready to create some cutting edge assembly and operation procedures. Thanks for watching and make sure to check out our website for more information on SOLIDWORKS Composer, part of the technical communication suite. Simply go to hawkridgesys.com, hover over SOLIDWORKS at the top of the screen, and click on TechComs.